Lewis Fitness, everybody lift What's going on guys? This is Brandon with B. Lewis Fitness. Thank you for tuning in to my YouTube channel where I'm helping skinny men put on five to 10 pounds of muscle and also join the two, three, four plate club. Today, I'm gonna cover a very simple meal prep that I personally do. It is really easy, it requires no skill and you can get it done quickly. Right now, it is about two o'clock. So I'm gonna show you how long this actually takes. So if you take a look, you can see what type of food that I have um, that I'm gonna do for this week. All right, so I'm gonna start off with ground beef. This is two pounds. I'm gonna use this for either lunch or dinner, depending on how I'm feeling. So just need to brown the beef, putting that on uh, medium high heat. Add some oil. It's cool. And you guys can season the beef however you want. I like to leave it pretty plain just because um, I usually add um, hot sauce to my beef. All right, so as you can see, I'm still browning the meat. Um, it's a little past two. Next up, while that's browning, I'm going to make some shakes for the week. So I like to make a big batch so I don't have to do it every single morning. I'm going to start off with orange juice. And I'm gonna put in, let's do three cups. And then with spinach, um, I'm not really gonna measure the spinach. I'm just gonna throw in some handfuls. It's a good way to get some extra vitamins in there. And um, I actually don't like the taste of spinach. So this is really the only way I'm gonna consume spinach. I'm in there. It's good enough. And next up, got a frozen blend of uh, berries. Has strawberries, blueberries, uh, blackberries, and raspberries. So one serving size is one cup. So I'm going to do three cups today to match the same amount of orange juice that I put in. Okay, and the last bit is putting in some oats. This is gonna help me get more calories in, um, even though it won't seem like more substance. So this is a nice little tip that you can do to add in more calories to your day to help you put on some weight. So, we have half a cup of oats is 150 calories. So I'm going to put in a full cup to be extra 300 calories total to this uh, mixture of the shake. Blend this up. And getting back to this beef. All right, so now meat is done. I'm going to transfer that to my containers. Try to keep it fairly even. Um, I don't really measure it too much. I just know um, about how much I can eat per meal. So I'm gonna do that. All right, so now moving on, going to bake some sweet potatoes. So I already washed them off. Just gonna poke holes in them, throw it in for about 45 minutes. <clears throat> you want to try to get sweet potatoes that are fairly similar in size if you can. It makes it cook evenly. Um, but you also check the sweet potatoes before you take them out just to make sure they're done.
All right, so now throwing these in. And moving on, going to steam these green peas. So I really suggest getting frozen vegetables so that you can steam in a microwave. It makes it very easy to uh, meal prep that way. Um, I really don't like cooking my vegetables, so this is just the way that I do it. So with this, you're going to heat this up for five to six minutes. So for both of these, you know, about 11, 12 minutes to throw them in each. I mean, total for mine. All right, got that in for six minutes. Waiting on that to cook. So now I'm gonna move on to my pasta and my meatballs. All right, so now I have water boiling. I'm going to add this uh, corn and quinoa spaghetti. Uh, I've not tried it before. I didn't get it for any specific reason because of the quinoa. It just was on sale. So I figured why not? Um, so that's gonna cook for about eight or nine minutes. And then I'm also gonna cut up these bell peppers uh, to prepare for my breakfast, which is usually eggs and oatmeal and throw these peppers in with the eggs. I have the pasta cooked, I'm going to strain that. I'm also going to add in cheese and a sauce. And then I have uh, meatballs that I'm gonna prepare once these sweet potatoes are done. Sweet potatoes have 22 minutes left on them. And then also transferring the green peas that I made into my containers. So the first batch of the spaghetti is done. I had to wash out the pot so I can get my second batch in. So I'm gonna to toss that in. And once again, it takes about eight or nine minutes for this to cook. And then once I'm done with that, throwing in the cheese and the sauce. So my sweet potatoes have about 30 seconds left. Um, so far right now, what I have prepared is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven meals. Um, so that should be able to get me through maybe two and a half, three days of lunch and dinner alone right there. So with my breakfast, I cook that every morning um, because I like that fresh. So I won't prepare my breakfast ahead of time. And sweet potatoes are just about done. Checking the sweet potatoes. Should be pretty soft in the middle. Yep, and all those feel good. So I'm gonna cut these open, let these cool off a little bit, and then wait for my spaghetti to be finished. So now I am moving on to the meatballs to go with the spaghetti. With these, I have not tried these yet, but they look delicious. Um, it takes about 15 minutes on one side and then 15 minutes on another side to fully cook. So 30 minutes and needs to be done.
So now moving on, I'm scooping out the sweet potatoes that I prepared into these containers and just separating it, um, eyeballing it to about what I know um, I can consume with one meal. The meatballs are done. I'm going to transfer these over. I'm gonna put four in each container of spaghetti. Okay guys, so as you see, this meal prep took about two hours. And out of this, I'm gonna get three days worth of food for um, lunch and dinner and potentially two dinners a day. So as you see, I have ground beef, sweet potato, and uh, peas. Then also spaghetti and meatballs. And then for snacks, I also have my shake. So if you think about it, this is three days worth of meals and it took me two hours. So if I meal prepped again, it should take you know another two hours for another three days of meals and maybe one hour for one day of meals. So that's five hours per week. Five hours out of your week is 3% of your week to have healthy meals that's gonna get you results. So try not to use the excuse that you don't have time to do it. It really doesn't take too much time to get the job done. So guys, if you enjoyed this video, what I want you to do is hit the like button and also share this with a friend who struggles with meal prepping. If you want more tips on how to meal prep like this to help you gain five to 10 pounds of muscle, you can join the wait list for my Lean for Life mini course that's coming out May 24th.